konnichiwa people it's me again paul p for today's episode we will be making tonkatsu two ways so i'll be making the tonkatsu with the breading and then after that we're going to make curry sauce and i'll show you how to serve tonkatsu two ways which is one with a curry katsu and one via tonkatsu which has egg okay so sorry for the bright lights but kind of dark already this evening so i'll get on with the cooking so, tara see you in the kitchen bye bye okay so we'll start off with our pork look at this i tenderize this by hitting it with the back of the knife and then we're going to dredge it in flour this has no salt. The salt is in the eggs. There, look at that. Shake off the excess and dredge it in the egg. Remember, one hand wet, one hand dry. And remove the excess egg. And we will now put it into our panko breadcrumbs. We spoon over the breadcrumbs over it and press it down. Really press it down. Okay? Then we'll flip it over and do the same thing to make sure that the breadcrumbs coat the pork really well and that's it now it's that is our tonkatsu okay next we will now deep fry make sure your oil is hot you drop your tonkatsu and we're going to let it fry in that oil until it's about GBD. Okay, this will take about 8 to 10 minutes. GBD is actually golden brown delicious. Look at that. It's starting to brown. Uh, this is on um, time lapse, so it's really fast. Okay, look at that. Once it's almost fully brown, we will flip it over. There, look at that. Okay guys, you have to make sure that you're using a high temperature oil, like palm oil, so it won't burn. Look at that. It's now GBD. Golden brown delicious. Look at that. Okay, for our curry sauce, we're going to saute garlic and onions. Make sure that you start this at a medium temperature. We want that onion to really brown. Okay, look at that. Slowly cook your onions and garlic. There. Fast forward it. Look at that. Starting to get translucent. And now we will continue cooking this until it's perfectly brown. There. Move the camera and next it's now turning brown. Look at that. Through the magic of camera work. <laughs> there. So we're going to saute this and then we're going to add some red curry powder. There. You add the red curry powder and you mix it up. Make sure you incorporate everything. The reason why we're frying the red curry powder so it will, it will release most of its essential oils or that special smell. Then you're going to add flour. Now this is what you call a roux. Fat with flour is actually a thickening agent. It's also known as a roux. R-O-U-X. Okay. So continue stirring this. Make sure you don't burn it because it tends to stick at the bottom. They're turning dark brown. Look at that. Okay. So next step, we're going to add in some beef broth. Here in my pot beside the burner, I have beef broth going on and I dropped in some potatoes and carrots. There, we're going to add the beef broth. Look at that. It instantly thickens. Look at that. Now look. See, as you stir it, it really gets thick with a double C. <laughs> no, just kidding. It will thicken really well. And then you're going to continue adding some broth until it's completely to your 
viscosity level. I mean, viscosity level, you don't want it too thick, you don't want it too thin. And you have to make sure that it's perfectly good enough to coat the tonkatsu there. And to this, we will add in some of our potatoes and carrots. Those are parboiled in beef broth. There. So we'll continue stirring this and letting it thicken. And that's the curry sauce. Look at that. Oh, it's glistening. Okay, and that's the curry sauce. Now let's assemble the dish. Okay guys, so I finished cooking everything and we have plated everything. Now let's check out our dishes. This is the tonkatsu with egg. Okay, we'll try the tonkatsu itself. Oh, it's covered in egg. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Still glistening. Mmm. It was a good idea to tenderize the pork a bit because the pork loin has no fat in it. It's actually cooked all the way through. Focus there. But I. It's not too dry, it's still juicy though. And I actually like it this way. So we'll try just a bit of rice. Yeah, the tonkatsu rice. Oh, by the way, I didn't show you how to make that sauce. That's just basically. Soy sauce, beef broth, sugar, and a bit of Worcestershire for the twang. Okay, we'll give this a try. One big bite. Mm. The fattiness of that part, coupled with the tangy sauce, and the uh, really moist pork is really good. You know what? I like that sauce so much. Okay, so we move on to the next one, which is the curry. See ya. Okay guys, so our second part is this beautiful curry. We'll try the katsu with just the curry sauce. Oh, it cooks really well. Hmm. Curry sauce alone is already ulam. You know what? We'll try some of that curry sauce with just rice. We'll see, we'll see. Curry sauce with rice. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. You know what? The, de the vegetables are for decoration. But we'll give this a try. This one. Okay, a bit of the meat, curry sauce, and rice. Mm. Okay. Given a choice of the two, I would prefer this over the tonkatsu any day. It has a bit of spice to it, certain creaminess to it, and that thick curry sauce. Mwah. Okay. Oh, I forgot to say, itadakimas. Truly oishi. Okay. So, now, we learned how to make the tonkatsu. Believe it or not, 
once you've bred it, you can already keep it in the freezer. For a, it will be good for a week. And after you fry, you can try it with gravy. You can try it with tartar sauce. You can try it with teriyaki sauce. It's endless. Okay? You can eat it as is or you can make it to a sandwich with spicy mayo. Ooh, that sounds good. So, I, su I suggest you do like a good two to three kilos of it. You can just store it in your freezer whenever you want to fry. Just get one slab, deep fry, you're done. And then prepare your sauce. Okay, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys are willing to try making this. It's easy. There's a lot of steps though, but the outcome is worth it. Okay, so till next vlog. See you in my dining room. Tara kaya tayo. Bye-bye.